And welcome back. Well, today we're going to introduce you to a new series here on The Morning Blend, and we are super excited about it. It is called The Mater Menu. Yeah, our friend Tyler Mater is a classically trained chef, and he is picking his favorite dining destinations in southeast Wisconsin. For this month's pick, Tyler takes us to Delafield, where eating is like a religious experience. I'm Tyler Mater. Welcome to downtown Delafield, affectionately known by many as Hallmark Town, USA. And it's right here inside this former 19th century church that restaurant owner Amy Quinn forever changed dining in Delafield by embracing local farmers, community, and the motto of food and friends. It's time to make your reservation at Belfry Kitchen. This is the Mater Menu. All right, Chef Jason, this is incredible. We got some big slabs of meat here, which we know yes. is gonna be an awesome finished product. So tell us what we're gonna be looking at. All right, so we got two 100% black Angus short ribs here that we're gonna rub down with some salt and pepper, get it on the grill, and get it ready for the oven. Gotta love Angus, great marbling throughout, right? Yep. A ton of flavor profile. Yep. Fantastic. A little salt and pepper this. Nice. You gotta have the twinkle, right, on the oh, top? Yes. You gotta oh, be yes. able to work the, work the magic a little bit. There you go. Flame those out. All right, so we got this searing up, beautiful, incredible flames on there, six pounds of Angus. Now we got the braising liquid, right? Yep. All right, so mirepoix, carrot, celery, onion, just yep. developing the aromatic base, right? Yep. Fantastic. Now I don't season this because I salt and pepper the meat, okay. and at the end I do salt and pepper into the pasta Fish and the up. whole dish. Too tasty. Yeah, okay. so I don't try to get this too salty. One thing about salt and pepper is if you add too much early on, you can't take yeah, it out, Yeah, exactly, right? exactly. <laughs> So here we can start throwing our herbs, some sage, some thyme, some rosemary, some smashed garlic cloves. Oh yeah. So then what we can do now is we're gonna take our Nebbiolo. All right. Wine that we like to pair with this. There you go. And that's to print out the acid, right? Yep. So we're gonna go and do that. We wanna make sure we do that in the beginning too of the cooking process so that we can evaporate all that alcohol out. Absolutely. Fantastic. Now we'll add our beef stock and our crushed tomatoes and a bay leaf. Fantastic. This is the key, right? This Absolutely. is the key flavor profile of the dish. Yep. You know, once you take the time to go through the beginning foundational processes of all these incredible ingredients, um, you get this fantastic balance of flavor in a dish. And this is the most important part. Absolutely. Once this gets to a boil, we'll be able to transfer this into a pan, and we'll put our meat on it, wrap it up, toss it in the oven. Three and a half, four hours, all right. So here we have some chopped up oyster mushrooms and portobellas, some shallots, some garlic. This is your braised meat out, right? This is the braised meat that we that's shredded already. And this is our braised, braised liquid, liquid. Okay. that's a little bit thickened with some roux. Mm. And then while this is kind of cooking here, we'll drop our fresh pasta. So that you're making that in-house. Absolutely. With pasta, that is an art form. There's a huge difference between store-bought and house-made pasta. The big finish, here we go. Hours and hours have gone into this dish. Look at that. Beautiful black Angus, four plus hours, braising liquid, Ren Rind reduction, homemade pasta. This is the place to come. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh my God. That Angus and homemade. <laughs> So Joe, you've been here since the beginning. Talk yes. a little bit about the menu. The balance of it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Um, but there's so many incredible seasonal changes that take place and a real diversity. I think you really struck on it when you talk about seasonal. I think it's fun to be a part of a restaurant where the flavors are always changing. Right now we have a lobster roll that's been very popular. Um, our avocado salad, always a crowd favorite. Incredible, I've had it. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one's all year round. And the seared salmon, you've got to talk about that. That's one of the great dishes yeah. <laughs> at Belfry Kitchen. It's just an interesting combination of flavors, but uh, in truth, it really they all complement each other very well. Uh, from the bacon, uh, the Brussels sprouts, the aioli, uh, it all kind of ties it together, and guests love it. It's now a crowd favorite, and sure. if we took it off the menu, we'd be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Talk a little bit about your passion and inspiration for the restaurant. My daughters and I, we were traveling. We were over in Greece, and we happened upon this gelato mm -hmm. shop. Okay. And the uh, gentleman working in there just exuded mm -hmm. this joy, literally out the door. And, and on the mirror in the restaurant, there was a saying that he had written, but it was all about finding what um, your joy, what makes you happy, um, and then doing that and doing it well. We came home here and started talking about what, what could we do that could um, bring us joy and I wanted to do something that the girls would be involved in okay. um, and they have been very very involved in everything from the very beginning. I can't sure. imagine doing this if I didn't love it so much 
and have the support that I have, right. both um, my staff here and then at home too. Right. Um, I've got a great family support, and uh, like I said, my girls have been so a part of this have been nothing but um, encouraging and, and patient. Sure. <laughs> so what's been the best part of this experience working with your mom? I'd say just watching how much my mom has grown and how proud I am of her. It's just been so cool to see her start something out of nothing. She was a special ed teacher before she opened a restaurant and how during that time she's been rooting for them and wishing for their successes and she said that for the first time it feels like she's been able to do it for herself. It's just been really amazing to see her right. bloom in that sense. So. This is an experience from beginning to end. It's not just about the food, which is phenomenal, but it's about every other component. Um, and that's what really creates the overall experience. Right. And you did an incredible job. Thank you. And having it in a 19th century church yeah, is, cool is, is pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah, super cool. From the smile and greeting at the front door, the table side education, to one of the most flavorful menus you'll experience in southeastern Wisconsin. Those are the reasons that Belfry Kitchen was chosen on this month's edition of the Mater Menu. Oh, how fun is that? And Tyler Mayer so awesome. with us now in yeah. studio. Yeah. That place looks so good. It was incredible. If you've never had a chance to dine at Belfry Kitchen, you have got to try it out. It is the ultimate dining experience. It's Look cool. at you with your shirt. Yeah, yeah that's Check right. It out. The Mater Menu. That's right. Official. <laughs> that is awesome. That's adorable. Yeah, I want to awesome. know more about your experience because I, I know you spent some time in Napa mm -hmm. learning the, the chef trade. That's right? right. That's right. You know, I'll tell you, honestly, it started at six years old. I held my okay. grandfather's hand at Mater's restaurant and yeah. we walked into my first table of guests. And I wanted to run into the dining room, but he's like, no, 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 slow down. And he made conversation with the husband and wife. He asked where they're from. It was about developing the experience overall. And in today's restaurants, there's so many places that offer great food, which is a true talent. But it's the ultimate experience. It's the way you're recognized. It's the friendship. It's the recognition. There's so many other components of it. And I took that at six years old yeah. and built on it my entire career. But going out to Napa Valley and studying at the Culinary Institute of America was absolutely incredible. And everything was refined out there. Yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. pretty cool. You know, what do you, what do you think, for, uh, in terms of the Mater menu, what was your inspiration behind doing that and just showcasing so many cool places here in our state? Thank you. Great question. <clears throat> so being out in Napa Valley, I really saw what went into creating the perfect dining experience. And mm -hmm. it was from, like I said, when you call up on the phone, the way you're greeted over the phone, the recognition right. table side, people remembering you, um, the table side education of the quality of the menu, the flavor profiles, the food of course, the finish, the way you're welcomed or thanked when you leave. Uh, those are all components of the entire experience overall. And when you see that, like I saw in Napa Valley, you expect that everywhere you go, yeah. which makes it difficult to dine out sometimes. My wife's right. like, oh my gosh, can you just eat the food, <laughs> you know, and not <laughs> critique like, no, the entire restaurant? Yeah. That's right. So, um, so I wanted to bring that back to Wisconsin and search out for the viewers in Wisconsinites those incredible restaurants that had the ultimate dining experience. I love that. And I like that you're finding spots, little hidden spots, not just doing the ones that everybody reads about. And that's the goal. And that we know. Like that. That's well, the goal, exactly. You. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank, thank you. People thank need you. need to rewatch. Um, <laughs> but you can go to um, the Mater menu. You can follow Tyler and the Mater menu on Instagram. That's the way you do it, and that's the way that you will find them. You can also go to our website and rewatch it. That was awesome. awesome. Thank, thank you, you so much. Much. Good that opportunity is great. It's great to see you. Yep. Yeah.